Hey guys, welcome into another overclocking video. So we've got the 16800 on the test bench and we're currently mining flux. This is the power draw at the wall. So we're currently getting 142 watts and occasionally spikes up because flux is a bit variable, but average of around 142. So now I'll jump into the software side and show you how many souls we're getting for that. All right, so I'm over in the software side now. Uh, so these are the overclock settings that I'm using to achieve this and yeah, these are the numbers here RX 6800 mining flux 142 watts from the wall minus the 18 watts of system idle is 124 watts that the GPU itself is drawing getting an average of 44 souls for that 124 watts which gives us an efficiency of 0 0.3548 souls per watt. Uh, so I had this GPU running for quite a while, got some stable settings, um, tried to undervolt it a bit more because I've done quite a bit of testing like on other days on this GPU. Uh, a lot of instability, this GPU doesn't specifically like this algorithm. So I got these stable settings here and then I tried to push them down a bit further and then yeah, didn't like that, so I've just reverted back to those stable settings that I had. You can get this GPU a bit more efficient, like I had it running here, but um, it does crash occasionally, like every couple of hours or so, it was just having a crash. Uh, it was perfectly fine in rebooting itself, but I mean, you don't really want your rig doing that, it's not great. So yeah, you have to kind of ease the overclock, oh sorry, the undervolts off a little bit, which is why I've got these settings here. Um, I went with 1800 core, can go up to 2100, but it just gets less and less efficient. You can get more souls though, you can get like stable 48 or like average 48, uh, but it's for like way more power draw. <laughs> it was like 200 and something power draw, so yeah not efficient at all. Uh, comparing it to the other GPUs that I've tested on this algorithm, we've got the 6600 X, sorry, non XT here, which got an efficiency of 0 0.3893. So it's a lot, well, reasonably more efficient than the 6800. The 6800 XT is also, sorry, the six, did I say the 6600 XT? Yeah, it's more efficient than the 6800 by a small margin. And the 6700 XT is not as efficient as the 6800. So yeah, pretty much similar to what we're seeing across all algorithms. The 6600 is the most efficient. Then second is the 6600 XT. Following that, 6800. And then the 6700 XT. Uh, it's pretty much the same across all the algorithms. Unfortunately, I don't have a 6800 XT or a 6900 XT to test. Uh, they just don't really make sense dollar to mega hash and all that. So uh, even though the 6800 XT could be a contender for top spot and efficiency, I just don't have one to test it. Uh, might get one one day, but more likely I'd want to save my money for the new AMD cards that are coming out because I would like to test those, see how efficient they can get. Uh, yeah, comparing the 6800 to this efficiency list on minus that, which we already know is wrong, because we've got 6600 and 6600 XT that are above this, but then leave it on this list. But anyway, ignoring that it's inaccurate, 0 0.3548. So that would put it in just here in spot number five technically, but I mean, 6, 7, it'd be at least spot number 7, but we can also assume that a bunch of these numbers are wrong, because uh, these ones, like the AMD cards are wrong, so probably half of these cards are wrong as well. Um, yeah, potentially the 6900 XT could be actually quite efficient, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's what these numbers here are saying, so just comparing it to that, just as a general idea of how efficient it is. Uh, personally, yeah, I wouldn't say it's crazy efficient. I know there's some cards that get 0 0.4, like the 2080 Ti and stuff like that. So 
Uh, yeah, it's not super efficient on Flux, but it's also not inefficient. So if you were to buy these GPUs because you're bullish on Ravencoin or like ETC, or you think that ETH isn't going to go to proof of stake or something, and you're betting on something like that, then yeah, these are a good GPU, especially in terms of density, because if you're looking at the 6600s, which are obviously more efficient on every algorithm I've tested, uh, but they're not uh, as dense. I mean, you basically get double the hash rate on these, uh, and it takes up one slot. Uh, instead of you'd have to have twice as many 6600s that's the main negative thing you can say about the 6600s really is you have to have heaps of them to actually get anywhere but yeah i mean these are the overclock settings if you want to copy them uh, if these aren't stable on your rig you'll have to increase the all these millivolt settings so that's this one here this one here this one here and this one here uh, just increase them by a little bit. If you can't get your rig stable with any of those being increased, you need to play with the core clock, probably reducing it uh, or potentially reducing them or increasing the memory clock, depending on your specific silicon lottery. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say on that, on this GPU, on this algorithm. Uh, we can take a closer look into here. So this is kind of, yeah, it's a little bit all over the place with this algorithm. It just seems to be the nature of uh, Flux is that it just, you know, goes down to 42.7 souls, 41.8, 41.4, but then spikes up to 47.7, 47.8. And that's only the ones that were, like, it stayed at long enough to actually register on the graph. If we come and look at this actual number, it varies a lot more than that. So we just kind of have to take an average because it changes every couple of seconds in the power draw software power draw is just completely inaccurate don't look at it at all <laughs> it means nothing it's arbitrary number that bounces between like 80 and 200 <laughs> so yeah it doesn't don't look at that number at all you have to measure from the wall to get an accurate power consumption just on flux that is uh, anyway, yeah, that's all I got this, for this video, so if this helped you in any way, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel, and have a great day. See ya.